So today what I want to talk about is what I can only term the quest for the Holy Grail. So we all know those people in our lives whose minds simply can't be changed, who they are so locked into the mainstream narrative, they can't see it any other way, and they're very easily controlled by the establishment and the system. And I think the question a lot of us are asking is, how do you break that hold, the hold of the matrix? How do you wake these blue-pilled people up? And I get, you know, left, right, red, blue pill, blue pill. We loosely know what these mean. I'm not going to look for particularly specific terms. But just in general, we kind of get what that means. It's the people that trust the mainstream narrative versus people that are doing their own research and looking for truth. Right? This is ultimately the search for truth, and you need to get more and more people to wake up because that limits the power of these illusions. You can't do lockdowns. You can't do mandatory this or that. If you have a population that sees right through it and has the courage to stand up to it. Now, the courage issue can be a whole video unto itself, but what I want to focus on is the red pill conversion experience. What is it that changed your mind? What is it that woke you up? And I'd be really interested in those of you in the comments to share your personal experience. What woke you up? What was the trigger? Was it one just event like, bam, oh wow, that's a big hoax. And now I'm really interested in this sort of thing. Or is it like a sandpaper, like a slowly grinding away or like Andy Dufresne and Shawshank just slowly picking through that wall until you see daylight was it was it one big awakening experience or was it you know a series of small revelations so before I go any further I want to mention I am on YouTube BitChute and now I've been uploading to Rumble and Odyssey as well just trying to cast my net further and wider and make myself more cancel proof. So anyway, to look at this red pill conversion experience, I want to give you a, a funny example of a woman I've seen gone from, will politely say, the most blue pilled person I've ever seen in my life to she, she's to the right of the, uh, the, the shaman, you know, the letter between P and R shaman. And it, it was quite the transformation. So this, this woman I worked with, she, well, she thought she was black. She thought she was black because her father was never in the picture, but she had an all-white family, but she thought she was a black woman. She had this whole black identity, and she's like 35 years old, but her entire life was built up around this idea of her blackness. She had a black husband, she has black children, and she even had like every stereotypical black female mannerism you can imagine from television and movies, the mm hmm hmm, and you know, talk to the hand and any trope, any, any stereotypical black female behavior, this woman embodied it. The thing is, she was pretty light skinned. Well, one day she took a 23 in me, and it turns out she was a. Uh, she wasn't black. She was, uh, she was Northern European and, uh, Spanish. That was her. <laughs> she was, she was a hundred percent European. And so everyone got kind of a good laugh out of that. It didn't affect her at all. It was just like, oh, that's interesting. And she didn't see the irony whatsoever. Now I just kind of give you, these are the intellectual chops of the individual we're dealing with. But I remember she was very anti-Trump when, when Trump was running and when Trump was in office. And people would ask her, well, why do you hate the guy so much? And she would say, and you could hear the TV talking right through her mouth. It was interesting. She said, I just don't like bullies. I don't like people that bully people. I don't like that. I'm against it. And that was it. Like, there was no real reason. It was just this emotional mixture and this distaste for the feeling she had, and she couldn't conjure the necessary words to justify the non-existent logic, so she just repeated what the television people had told her. 
Well, as time went on, she eventually transferred to a different area. She doesn't work here anymore, but she, it was around the time we were coming up on the 2020 election, and she all of a sudden surprised everyone by saying she was going to vote for Donald Trump in 2020. And everyone was like, what? And so me being kind of fascinated by these conversion experiences, because this is what everyone's trying to achieve. You know, how, how, what changes people's minds? How do we package that and shoot that off into uh, the, the world out there and get some real change in thought? And it was interesting. Her answer surprised me. It wasn't that she saw through 7-Eleven. It wasn't lockdownerism. It wasn't BLM riots. It wasn't defund the police. It wasn't, you know what it was? She, she said, well, I, I've been getting some news from different sources of information. And I was thinking, all right, you know, she, what could she possibly be getting her news from that changed her mind so dramatically from rabidly anti-Trump, pro-leftist, every crazy socialist AOC nonsense thing to, to a Trumpian worldview? Like how, what made you, what got you to cross this gap? What, it must have been something incredible. And she goes, yeah, well, I've been, uh, I've just been getting information. I've been watching some news on YouTube. I've been, I've been watching this guy named Tim Pool. <laughs> I kid you not. Tim Pool was the gateway out of leftist craziness. Now, Tim Pool is a self-described milquetoast fence sitter. He's, he's v tries to be very centrist. But think about it from the perspective of this woman. He's non-threatening, right? We always think you need like the Alex Jones beating on the table like this is a lie. Yell, 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 you know, look at this. Interdimensional elf aliens and clockwork, you know, whatever. But that isn't what got her. It was this little guy just more dedicated to truth than pushing out false news narratives. And he... He doesn't bring that negativity, that force that have to change people's minds. It's just like, well, here's what the mainstream news is reporting, and here's what's actually going on on the ground. And he does it over and over and over again. And this woman watched it over and over again. And gradually, through time, Tim Poole was like a gateway drug that got her from the very far left to the very far right. And it was just the scattering of these small seeds of truth that over time bloomed and blossomed all on their own. Now, what's even funnier is people that are friends with her on Facebook have told me she slid down the rabbit hole so far. She got so good at researching her own information. She's now full blown uh, the right on cue phenomenon. Now, we've looked at that phenomenon on this channel here before, and basically the conclusion at the time of its height of its popularity was, look, we have no way of knowing. The idea that there's a trust the plan guy with Mike Lindell and Trump back in office by August is basically a total laugh right now. But the idea that there's very powerful people in government in the deep state with child loving proclivities is also pretty much an established fact as well. So what you term, you know, the right on cue phenomenon, it depends on what facet of that you're looking at. It means many different things depending on the context. Now, trust the plan is a joke now, but I, I'm not interested in all of that. What I am interested in is what took her from Trump's a bully, I watch Jimmy Kimmel every night, to I'm with the people yelling about child abusers deep within the government. I mean, that requires a mountain of information and represents a massive conversion. And it reminds me of one of Aesop's fables. It's called The Wind and the Sun. And so the wind and the sun have a bet. And they're looking down on a man. He's walking. He's got his coat. He's bundled up. And the wind bets the sun, hey, I bet you I can get him to take his jacket off before you can. The sun says, okay, do your worst. So the wind howls and rages and blows at the guy, and the harder he blows, the harder the guy clings to his coat. 
And finally, the wind's energy is all spent, and the guy's still clinging to his coat. And so then it's the sun's turn, and the sun looks down on the guy, and he, he smiles and just radiates heat. And he warms up the temperature, and finally the guy gets so hot, he just takes his jacket off. The moral being you achieve more with mildness than you do with violence, or aggression, or force. And I think that's the general, the general process we saw with the conversion event with this woman, is that Tim Poole achieved more with mildness than you know, ranting and raving by fringe conspiracists are able to achieve on the right. And that, and now there's just a massive body of information that once someone slips on a banana peel of truth, they can go right down the rabbit hole into this entire world where you can see almost everything presented to you by the mainstream media and corporate America or global corporations is a lie. So there's got to be this this robust body of information out there as well. But I wanted to share this story of one particular blue-pilled individual's conversion experience because I think it's something we all can learn from and something we should look to replicate with those around us. At this point, I don't think it's necessary to seek one knockout blow, but just plant these small seeds of truth and then let them germinate and do the work all on their own. And I would be interested in the comments below if you would be willing to share your personal red pill conversion experience. What was it? Was it one big event that just bam opened your eyes or was it just a gradual growing body of research where finally you realized, wow, there's a lot more to this and these people aren't nearly as crazy as they used to sound. Because I do believe the only way out of this authoritarian madness that we've stumbled into is to get a critical mass of the population out there that knows and understands the truth.